Hey everybody, today we have a 2015 Cadillac Escalade with a 6.2 liter engine. It needs a starter, we've already checked it and we know it needs a starter. So first thing is you disconnect the negative battery cable, which I've already done. And then next thing is you gotta get it up in the air and get this tire off. Once you get the tire off, you can come in here and you pull back this shield and Right there, center of the screen, that is the nut that holds the power wire to the starter. And then underneath that, you have that insulated piece, which is the start wire. So we're going to get in here with a 13 millimeter and a long ratchet. G Jr. is going to get in there and he's going to go ahead and get that nut broken free and loose. Here, can you hold the shield back for me? All right, so now you get the wire loose and then the wire comes right off. And then I usually take and pull it back and I'll hook it behind the brake hose to get it out of the way. So now what you gotta do is you gotta pull this down and that is the start wire. It's got one of these stupid red safety clips that you're gonna have to pull down and then I think I have it pulled down and then you have to squeeze it to get it disconnected. Okay, I think I'm gonna need both hands. So let me get that disconnected and we'll be back. Alrighty, so I got the start wire unplugged and I've tucked it down here out of the way. So now what I'm gonna do, there's not a lot of room for the starter to come back because the ground wire is here. It's a 13 millimeter on the block. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this and get this out of my way. It's got a heat shield on here, but I already tried to take this one bolt out. There must be another bolt up top so that heat shield's not gonna come off. So I hope it doesn't get in our way. So let me get this taken off and then we'll go underneath the car and take the bolts out of the starter. All right, now we're underneath the car and there is the starter there. So now we need to take out that 13 millimeter headed bolt and that 13 millimeter headed bolt to get the starter. There's the start wire, which is hanging right there. We'll just leave that up there. Um, oops, there goes my flashlight. Let's leave that back up in there. All right, Gigi, you go ahead and get in there and get the bolts, right? Get that one right there. All right. Now, All right, here, take a pull out for a second. Let me look at something here. Uh, I've never actually done one of these before. So actually what we're also gonna do too is we're gonna take this little shield out right here, this flywheel shield, it's a 10 millimeter. That might help us get the starter out a little bit easier. So uh, let's get that out and I'll come back. All right, I went ahead and took that 10 millimeter headed bolt out of this shield and the shield must go around the starter so it's not coming out. All right, go ahead, G Jr. Get in here and get the rest of the bolts out. All right, so he's getting all the bolts out. And once he gets the bolts out, we'll... Uh... All right, there's the first one. There's the first starter bolt. Here, go ahead and push that shield up. There you go. And also, too, if you take that bolt out, it will give you a straighter shot on the inside bolt. Because with that 10 millimeter headed bolt there, it um, kind of gets in the way. So you'll get a straight shot on the, the inside bolt. Oh, you know something? I wonder if we're gonna have to drop the sway bar down to get the starter out. I don't think so. Oh, it's out. Oh. 
It's right there. There we go. All right, there's the second bolt. All right, so we got two starter bolts out. So let's see if we could push this back. Yeah, that's wrapped around the starter. back in yeah see how it's got a trap so we'll put that back in later all right is that stupid heat new heat shield trap in the starter or I have what? no idea all right we got the starter loose we might have to take the sway bar lo uh, loose let's uh oh it's that shield with the pen on it yeah, it's that shield with the ton on. I guess we are going to have to take that loose. But what is it bolted to? All right, we're going to take that bolt out of that shield because I guess we're it's bolted to the engine or something. So we're going to take that 10 millimeter headed bolt out on that shield and we'll come back. All righty, so I did have to take that uh, heat shield bolt out because that heat shield is bolted in. It doesn't come out. So here, grab the thing. So now let's see if we can get the starter. Starter's loose now. It's a small starter, so I'm hoping that we can get it down and, hey, look at that. We got it out. Um, on some of the older models with the 6 liters and the 5.3, you have to take and drop the sway bar down. There's bolts there, but there it is. So you do have to take that heat shield out. Like I said, I've never done one on a model like this. And there's the starter out. We're still waiting for the new starter. And it doesn't look like we bent this heat shield up any. It doesn't look like we bent the heat shield up any. So the heat shields just stay there. So you have to take that bolt out. There's Mr. Flywheel. And uh, all right. So we'll just wait for the new starter to get here. And basically, to install it, the same thing. You put the starter up in there. You put the bolts in. And um, you tighten everything up. I will look at the. I don't have the torque specs for it. I will put that in the description below. All right, everybody, I think I'm going to leave it at this. So that's how you get the starter out of a Cadillac. And basically, it's just the same way to put it back in. So everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like my automotive videos.